Hey, thanks for joining us here on ABC 24 News. And we start with this new year. The Bluff City prepares to welcome its newest leader. Our Stephen Reels is downtown or in downtown Memphis with the plan for today's mayoral inauguration. Stephen. In October, Memphians elected Paul Young as their next mayor. And finally, at the beginning of 2024, Paul Young gets to fulfill that role. During his campaign, Young said he was going to address the mistrust between the community and the Memphis Police Department. Before taking office, Young said he wanted to see current police chief CJ Davis keep her job. And doing so would be crucial to a pandemic level response to address crime. Crime had been a big subject heading into the election and is still something a lot of Memphians have been concerned about. This is what one native Memphian told us this morning. Really going and seeing how Memphis could really turn into a huge city just like Nashville. I think that addressing the crime first would be the first step on uh, really taking this city to the next level. The now mayor says that discussions are already underway with Chief Davis about a new approach to tackle crime in the city. And earlier, Young has also said that he wants to work with the Downtown Memphis Commission to address crime and public safety in the area. In Downtown Memphis, I'm Stephen Reels. All righty, thank you for that report. Over in DeSoto County, officially, they officially have a new sheriff in town. Friday, Thomas Tuggle was sworn in as the county's first new sheriff in 16 years. Tuggle is also the first black sheriff in DeSoto County since 1873. And a new year, new mayor, which also means some new laws are to come. So let's run through some legislation going into effect today across the Mid-South, starting here in Tennessee. There's a new law that will change DCS's policy on juvenile detention facilities and child custody judge training. Also, gun owners will be able to get a $30 or get $30 back for completing handgun course safety courses. Starting today, also, anyone found guilty of driving under the influence will have a tracking device installed in their vehicles, and cars with breathalyzers only take a picture now of the person taking the test. And under that new law, persons, uh, the person's location is identified when they start the car, but won't continuously track their drive. And over in Arkansas, people can expect to see lower state income taxes, expanded health care coverage that includes depression screenings for new mothers, coverage for ambulance rides, and traumatic event counseling for first responders. There will also be uh, required Alzheimer's training for all police officers, and new laws will also enforce harsher sentencing for violent crimes. So people who commit murders, rapes, aggravated robberies and meth related drug charges will serve a full sentence in prison and they will not be eligible for for early release. And over in Mississippi now, the Secretary of State will now have the power to conduct audits of election results so you can look for speedier processes for local election commissioners to remove the names of inactive voters from the voter rolls. Also, candidates will be banned from running for office if they did not file all required campaign finance reports within the previous five years. Now, let's get a check of the latest forecast with Chief Meteorologist Danielle Mawson. We know that the uh, cold has been in the headlines, at least when it comes to weather, right? Yes, and you know, it's going to be another cold day today, Jordan, but we're going to eventually start to see temperatures getting a little bit better, just a little bit better here in the Mid-South. Here's a look at today's highs across the area. We're looking at around 45 degrees here in the Metro Memphis area, 42 degrees up in Dyersburg. Temperatures are still going to remain below our average all throughout the day. Here's a look at your planner. Cold start going to continue to be cold. We'll have lots of sunshine as we get into the early afternoon, but tonight it's going to be another cold night, which is going to produce another cold day tomorrow. Our temperatures will be on the rise into the low 50s, but it's going to come at a cost. We are tracking some rainfall that will be impacting your Saturday. Here's a look at our updated future cast. It looks like that rainfall that could be coming on Wednesday is going to be holding down to the south of us, but this big rain low pressure system coming on Saturday could be bringing us some widespread rainfall and some stronger storms to the south of us. Temperatures are going to continue to stay below average until we get to this weekend. We'll have an updated look at that forecast coming up today at 5. All righty, Danny, thanks for that. And this year's top New Year resolution, you guessed it, it's getting back in the gym, and we hear it every year. But one of the best ways for you to stick to that is getting a membership. 
And guess what? You're in luck because most gyms are now offering free consultations to new members. A trainer or nutritionist can help you create a plan, but you can always make one for yourself right at home. Gym owners, they say two of the most important things to do during your journey this year is creating a routine and sticking to it. So it's those small changes that create one big lifestyle change to where one day you would just wake up and it's your routine. It's just what you do. You get up, you walk a little bit, you make the healthier choice for breakfast, you come to the gym, you meet your trainer, you get your workout in and you go on your day and then that's just now your routine of what you do every day. And gym owners also say if you're looking to lose weight this year, don't think about it as a diet but as a lifestyle change. That's why it helps to get a nice routine going and again, a healthy lifestyle change that you can stay consistent with all year long. And you'll hear it again, it is a new year and it's important to get started with good money habits. And we spoke to uh, with the financial experts who say the credit card you already have might be putting you behind. Derek Miser from Miser Wealth Partners in East Tennessee says there are three things that you can do to lower your credit card debt this year. First, he says to shop around and find which credit card offers uh, you the lowest interest rates. Next, he then says to identify where you owe the most and roll that existing debt in onto your new low interest credit card. Finally, set up automatic payments with your new card to start paying down some of that debt then eventually you'll get that payment down and get it taken care of. And instead of thinking, taking, I can take a break now because I've paid off this large debt, that's really the opportunity to take what you were paying and apply it to other credit cards that you have or outstanding debt, whether it be a car loan or a student loan. And Miser says if you follow that strategy, you will continue to shrink what you owe until you're debt free. And once that happens, your credit score will start to heal. And scammers are now trying to buy their way into your Google search and trick you into downloading malware. Our Brandon Lewis from our National Verify team explains their latest tactics and how you can stay safe from searching online. A viral tweet with nearly 200,000 views warns you should be careful when clicking on sponsored results from a Google search because you could end up on a scammer's website. But can Google ads really redirect people to websites different from the one displayed in the ad? Let's verify. Our sources are the Federal Bureau of Investigation, Google, and cybersecurity company Malwarebytes. When you search for something on Google, you'll sometimes see results at the top labeled sponsored because companies can pay Google to get listed first. In 2022, the FBI warned scammers are buying sponsored results to impersonate brands and send users to their malicious websites, a practice known as malvertising. Earlier this month, Malwarebytes found scammers purchased ads that displayed Zoom's official URL, but actually took people to a convincing fake website that prompted them to download malware instead. Officially, these sorts of ads are banned by Google, but a spokesperson acknowledged to verify that it still happens. In 2022, the company removed more than a billion ads that violated their rules. So yes, Google ads can redirect people to websites different from the one displayed in the ad. The best way to stay safe is to avoid clicking on sponsored links in your search results and to always double check the URL. With your Verify, I'm Brandon Lewis. And now over to sports in the Tiger Den Memphis basketball. They faced off against Austin P in their final non-conference game of the year. The Tigers, they won that one 80 to 71. And the Grizzlies unfortunately ended their year with a loss falling, falling short to the Sacramento Kings, 123 to 92. But no worries, because they'll be back on the grind tomorrow when they take on the San Antonio Spurs here at home, followed by the Raptors on Wednesday, both games at home for that. All right, that's all for us today. At ABC 24, you can always stay up to date with the latest on ABC24.com. Next newscast starts at 5 p.m. Have a happy, happy new year.